What is good, YouTube Sports Brain here, filming in a new spot. I'm bringing you guys a new general update video. It's been about a week since I posted the last one, but some interesting stuff has happened in Major League Baseball. So, the Yankees advanced, obviously, past the Indians to the American League Championship Series. The Cubs advanced past the Nationals to the National League Championship Series. Now, we have, in Game 4 of the uh, Astros-Yankees series, I mean, this thing has been way up and way down. Because Game 1, 2-1 Astros. Same thing with Game 2, kind of, oddly enough. And then Game 3, 8-1 Yankees. So that was just craziness. That was, they destroyed them. Then... Game 4, Yankees coming back in the bottom of the 8th, down 4-2 to end up winning 6-4. So good job, Yankees. And then today is Game 5, so we're going to see if the Yankees, my New York Yankees, can take the lead. Then on the National League side, personally, my opinion, mostly boredom. I mean, you had Game 1, 5-2 Dodgers. Game 2, 4-1 Dodgers. And then yesterday, Game 3, 6-1 Dodgers. Like, their pitching staff is so good with their lineup that it's just unfair. So then, not today, but tomorrow is uh, the next game for that series. And uh, I think that the Dodgers are going to sweep the Cubs and go to the World Series. Hopefully it's going to be Yankees-Dodgers versus Astros-Dodgers in the World Series, though. I would really enjoy that as a Yankees fan now. Another thing that you have to consider is last night, basketball, first game of, like, the really televised regular season, important stuff, you know? And so, <sighs> prayers for Gordon Hayward. And I also think that we need to bring to the attention of the world that now the Celtics are out a very large amount of money. Like, we're talking millions of dollars. Like, if here I look up Gordon Hayward's salary, let's see exactly how much he gets paid every single year. I'm going to say it's probably, yes, $29.73 million per year. So now, the Celtics are paying that to someone who played what? five minutes in the first game and won't play again this season. So they're out close to 30 mil in cap space. So obviously prayers for Gordon Hayward. Clearly it wasn't intentional. I feel bad for both him especially and the Celtics. Shout outs to the Cavs for winning this game. And uh, that's my NBA news as far as uh, what happened. Predictions going forward in terms of predicting... Uh, Who's uh, who's the real deal in the NBA? I'm going to say that the Timberwolves are going to be better this season. The Spurs, if uh, Zaza Pachulia can keep his feet to himself, are going to be better this season. And uh, I think that uh, obviously the Cavs are going to be good. The Celtics, the Thunder, in my opinion, will probably be the best team in the West. And... Uh, but with close competition from the Golden State Warriors. So I don't really watch basketball as much as I watch baseball and football because obviously I'm far more interested in those sports. But uh, I still think it's interesting to look at, you know, what happens in the NBA as far as standings and stuff like that. But I definitely also want to touch on some... upsetting stuff for me. Jonathan Allen, Redskins defensive tackle, is out for the season with a foot injury. So him and Gordon Hayward, both important players out for the season. Obviously, Gordon Hayward clearly more important because basketball is more of a star-reliant sport and because, you know, basketball, a star plays more minutes and more of a role than in the NFL where you can only get one position out of a star. So yeah, I definitely feel bad for Gordon Hayward. Definitely also feel bad for uh for Jonathan Allen. Tell me in the comment section if you personally believe that uh you know, 
that uh, the Redskins' defense is sinking. Tell me how you think this affects your predictions for the Boston Celtics in terms of now having Kyrie probably have to carry them. And uh, also, make sure you tell me, what's what's the deal right now? Uh, how in the world is this going on? I mean, the Cubs, reigning champions, are now down 3-0 in the National League Championship Series, as I gotta fix that suave, um, are now down 3-0 in the National League Championship Series, and, uh, the Yankees are tied with the Astros 2-2. I mean, coming into the season, everybody thought that the Cubs were better than the Yankees, right? But now... Obviously, the Dodgers are a better team than the Astros, but not by much. So the fact that the Yankees can hang in there 2-2 and the Cubs are down 3-0, probably going to get swept tomorrow. I mean, we'll see because at the time I'm recording this video, it's 4.35 p.m. Eastern Time and the game begins at 5.08. So not that long from now, we are going to see if the Yankees can pull it together and win another game, but... I don't know if they can win four straight. Three straight would be nice. Then if we can give back a game to the Astros, that's fine with me. That would take it to game seven because then the series would be tied 3-3. So I think that maybe game seven, possibly between the Astros and the Yankees, originally going in, I told you guys in another general update video that I'd be happy if we could lose in six games to the Astros. And now it's looking like possibly we could win versus the Astros in six games. So, that'd be really interesting. Obviously, an exciting series with the Astros winning two kind of meh games, and now the Yankees exploding for two very exciting and fun-to-watch baseball games. Now, on the other hand, National League Championship Series, it's been all Dodgers. Obviously, they're going to the World Series. No team in the National League has ever come back from uh, down 3-0 in the Championship Series. The only team that's ever done that in the whole MLB is the Boston Red Sox in 2004 against the Yankees. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Obviously, the Yankees have won two straight. It'd be nice if they could win four straight. Probably not going to happen. But, Cubs versus Dodgers, it's going to be, you know, interesting to see because the Dodgers are on a higher level. They're, like, up here. They're top of the screen level. The Cubs are probably about here. Where do the Astros fit in? I feel like they're here, and the Yankees, just in terms of talent, are probably here. So, the fact that this and this is 3-0, and this and this is 2-2, just tells you that the Yankees are a lot more fierce than people expected, and probably the Astros aren't as good as people might have thought they were. But, that also tells you that the Dodgers are probably better than people thought, with the Cubs being worse. So, I say that this year, Astros and Cubs... Probably on a similar level, which might lead to a boring World Series, but I will say that uh, the Astros versus the Yankees has been an excited series, obviously. I've repeated myself like 6,000 times saying that. But Yankees-Dodgers, I think, would be the most exciting possible World Series out of this matchup, not just because I'm a Yankees fan and I haven't really been conscious since they've made the World Series because the last time they did that was, what, 10 years ago? No, eight years ago? Yeah. Yeah, 2009, they won the World Series. So eight years ago, and they haven't even been back to the World Series yet since then. So sure, it'd be interesting, but just in terms of play style, like you really have to consider the play style of the Yankees versus the play style of the Dodgers. The Dodgers like to explode on offense and get by pitching with a great pitching staff against explosive offenses. So against the Yankees' explosive offense, the Yankees' offense is so great, even against a huge pitching staff that includes Dallas Keuchel, uh, Luke Gregor... Excuse me, not Luke Gregerson. Uh, uh, Justin Verlander and... Uh, what is his name? Their number three starter. Anyways, uh, Lance Lance McCullers. Yes, Lance McCullers. I'm sorry that it took me so long to realize that. I, I'm ashamed of myself as a baseball fan. But obviously with those three great starters, they can't even come close to matching up with like Clayton Kershaw, best starter in the MLB. You Darvish, nasty to face. And, you know, obviously they have other good starters like uh, Rich Hill and uh, Kenta Maeda. 
So, great starters there. Obviously, the Astros starters aren't quite as good, but if the Yankees can beat the Astros starters in with scores like 8 to 1, with scores like 6 to 4, scoring four runs in one inning to come back from a loss, like if the Yankees are fierce enough to do that, I think we could probably hold up against the Dodgers. The big thing would be that the Dodgers offense is just as explosive, if not arguably more explosive than the Yankees offense with still better pitching with the Yankees. Pretty poor pitching, relatively speaking, in this series, if you really think about it. Severino's pitched a good game. Sonny Gray's pitched a good game. CC pitched a good game or two. But, like, Tanaka's games haven't been great. Severino pitched that terrible game in the the wild card, and uh, Sonny Gray didn't pitch so great in the division series. So... We'll really see how it goes. I hope for a Yankees-Dodgers World Series, uh, because obviously I'm going to watch every game of that all the way through, giving you guys possibly live commentary during the game, so be on the lookout for a more exciting video like that. But for now, that's all I have to say about basketball, baseball, and we covered football, so a real variety video today. Uh, I'm signing off, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.